Oh, they got. Why well, ain't never got no space? I just don't understand. God, dog, man. What's up, y'all? What is happening in the world? Hello, hi, hi, hello. Shout out to Natalie. Um, damn, I ain't did a. So I'm mad because I've been wanting to do a car motivation for so goddamn long, but uh, it get dark at like five o'clock. And I leave the house at like five o'clock or after five o'clock. So by the time I get in the car, it'd be dark. And at first I was like, fuck it. I ain't even worried about it. I'm just gonna post them anyway. But dark videos are really just not appealing to me. I do have one that I wanna post because it was about finances, but like in a motivational way. So I think I'm still gonna post that one, but I'm not sure. But is it something about recording in the dark that just don't work well for me? I just don't fuck with the quality. Um, would you come the fuck on? And then y'all can't see the crazy faces I be making when shit like this happen. People don't know how to drive. Come on now. So your girl is officially COVID free. <sighs> Success. I made it through. And on top of that, got my nails done. I got my nails done. Y'all know I was struggling with that one nail missing. That, that, that pinky nail missing. It got me. So as soon as I found out I ain't have it no more, I went to the nail shop. That was the first move I made was to go do something to these hands. And I was feeling real green, real lucky like. So I had painted them green. Um. And it wasn't because of the sweater that just happened. But anyway, getting to the point. Um, oh, shit, y'all. Uh-oh. Hold on. Phone call. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I be having to answer the phone. Your girl out here trying to get a job and shit. Um, I've been sitting at this life for a little minute. Now, come on. I got to get to my Starbucks, y'all playing. And why I came out in traffic time, I don't know. That was stupid. Back to regular schedule programming. Um, car motivation. Let's get to it. Don't fold. Hmm? Don't fold. That one been on my my heavy, my heavy heart. My heart heavy. Um, cause I like go into like binges. Like I I Nipsey Hustle RIP to the real king holding it down. Oh my god, this man is amazing. I, I've always loved him, and I'm not I'm not even finna sit here and bullshit y'all. <laughs> I didn't listen to his music like that. I knew Nipsey Hussle from the business side of things. Like I was more so attracted to him. Well, I won't say attracted, or more so knew more about like his business ventures than I was his music. I listened to his music. I knew what his music was while he was still here, um, but. I knew more so about the business side and that man is amazing like all his interviews everything I was stuck in the house with COVID and I think I watched every Nipsey Hussle video I mean interview I could find like I ain't already seen them all like I literally done watched the same interviews like 3 million times by now so um, and I'm gonna keep watching them because he's a, a wise and he was a wise individual he was smart. He was like, why they just put it? He has so many positive aspects just put into one person. Like, I just don't understand why they, why, why it happened. But it's not for me to understand. It's God's plan. I have to tell myself that. But it pushed me because when you, when I was in the house with COVID, right? Yes, I was sick. But I also didn't like the fact that I wasn't working. And I needed to rest. Everybody kept telling me to rest. But you got to think, I was in the house for 15 days. Because I started quarantining way before I even knew I had COVID. So I literally was in the house all of 2020 so far. So I wasn't working. And when you don't work and you just sit and sleep all the time, you can, you tend to lose that drive that you had, that structure you had, the, the responsibility you had. Because not only are you sick in your mind, Sir, what is you doing on this bike behind me? What you got going on, bud? With this damn... Y'all gotta see this. I'm sorry, I got the pop. Ooh, I hope he can. I'm gonna drive slow. Well, I can't drive slow. He drive. He fixing the bike. Ooh, I hope y'all can see this. I hope. Not him. Not him. Not him. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's...
ass in it. I'm sorry, y'all. I got it in there. Look, your ass just came from out of nowhere. Now, if I'd have knocked your ass off, then you would have been fucked up. First, you behind me. You trying to fit. Y'all, look at this. Look, look at. Look at. This. He, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Sir. Oh, okay. Because that's your jam. Oh, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, this is the type of shit I be dealing with. Anyway, I was listening to his interviews, but it causes you not to want to do anything. Like, even when I started getting better, it's like I would try to work, but I didn't have the, the energy and the push to. Not because I was sick, just because I just wasn't feeling it mentally. So... I was like, nah, this ain't gonna work. So I found myself like watching a lot of his videos and just like I always do, but more so because I had so much time on my hands and the don't fold part sticks with me. Like it really stuck with me. And, um, you know, he's known for, or one of his quotes that he is known for is, you know, the game gonna test you, don't fold, stay 10 toes down. It's not in you. I mean, it's not on you. It's in you. And what's in you, they can't take away. So, <clears throat> when I thought about that and I dwelled on it, I was like, dang, that's a good motivation. Like, it's not it's not on you. <laughs> it's in you. And nobody can take what's in you. And when he said the game going to test you, the game means so many things. Like, it means people, your environment, your life as a whole, your relationships. You are going to be tested. And you gonna want to fold. Sometimes you might fold temporarily. Like, it's like, damn, like, I can't take this. This is happening. This is happening. This is failing. This is failing. All of that is a test. For one, it's a test of faith. And for two, it's a test to see just how hard am, how hard am I going to go despite all this bad shit that's happening so even with my event most of y'all know i had the motivational me live event coming january 30th now because of the new strain of covid especially in houston it was an in-person event i planned it to be an in-person event that was the whole point of me planning it because i wanted to finally have an in-person event because i have not had one since 2015 everything's been ttm it has not been Miranda. And Elements of Me is a different brand. So I'm like, I want to have an in-person event. Like, I miss those. I want to get back out there. And so it was planned pre-Omni-COVID uh, variant. That's what I call it. So when the time came and now we right up on it, I catch COVID. So I'm like, all right, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, really? I don't have time for this shit. I got an event on the 30th. I already started marketing for it. I already started talking about it. So I had to sit there and decide if I was going to keep it. Because at this point, sir, you in this bike getting on my motherfucking e-nerves. You was in a white neighborhood. These people looking at you like you all kind of fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Um, Damn. People get on my nerves. But... I had to decide, am I going to make this fully virtual? Am I going to move it back? Because it was always a virtual option anyway, because all my people not in Houston. Uh, shout out to Letitia. Am I going to make it uh, fully virtual? Am I going to move it back? Like, what, what am I going to do? And I hate virtual events. I do not like them. Christian will tell you firsthand, I do not like virtual events, especially mine. I can go to them or like if I have to speak at somebody else's, it's like, okay, cool. I can do that. But my events, I do not like virtual events for me. Like when the gala had to be virtual this past year, it hurt every part of my heart because that is just not me. I need to be around people. Like I have the energy in the room has to be felt and you just can't have that with a virtual event. So it bothers me, especially for something that you're talking to somebody who's been putting on events for five years. So I know what that in-person energy feel like. So to not be able to have that, it fucks with me. It really fucks with me. Like I don't like, I don't like virtual events. I don't, not for me. 
<laughs> I don't. So I was like, it don't make sense for me to go because this was a, a paid ticket event. Now, the ticket prices were not that high, and I was going to lower them. But it don't make sense for me to charge 5 or $10 for somebody to come to an event that's virtual when I got a fucking YouTube channel. It don't make sense. Having a virtual option is cool, but having a fully virtual event for this, for what I want to do with this, it just didn't sit right with me. That's not how I want to do that. That's not why I planned this event. I planned it specifically so that I could finally have my, my own in-person event again after five years. That was the plan. Starbucks, y'all know I got the. I thought you said something. Look at, uh, okay. Trimmer over there sitting in the car. Um, hold on, y'all. I know I gotta go get my drink real quick. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. But y'all know, because if y'all subscribe, y'all know what I'm doing right now. Y'all know I gotta put my mask on, because the vid ain't gonna get me twice. Hell, I gotta put on hand sanitizer before I go in that motherfucker. Oh, mm mm. Mm -mm. Give me all that. I need all that, bro. I'm sanitizing it down. But hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I swear people be stupid as hell when you're trying to get out the parking lot. Oh, now I gotta go to Chick fil A, give me some food. I'm really like not feeling Chick fil A. I know that's like, oh my god. But yeah, I've been tired of Chick fil A for a little minute. But when you don't eat fast food and you don't feel like cooking, yeah, Chick fil A, about all you gonna get. So, um, I had to decide on what to do about the event. Took me days in deep thought because I'm like, on one hand, for one, I'm not fully rested enough to even do it. For two, I don't know if the venue is still gonna allow out like events to happen. For three, the variant is bad. Yes, I had like strict protocols in place the room was big enough to distance everybody like it i knew that i was gonna how serious i was gonna be about safety but at the end of the day it's up to the person to decide like you know everybody don't feel comfortable coming to events or coming out for uh, right now now i did have a little moment where i was like but people can go to the club so they can't come to no event like i did have that moment i'm not gonna lie i definitely did but at the end of the day, it was like, that's them. What are you going to do? Uh-uh, sir, it's my turn. Kiss my ass. Um, so I, I decided to move it back to February 27. Hopefully by February, things will get a little bit better. We shall see. We we praying. We, we praying. Real tough, real heavy. So, what the fuck? So the, the message is, all of that don't fold. Cause I I could I had a moment or could have easily had a, multiple moments where I was like you know what I don't want to do this I don't want to do nothing I don't want to do nothing I just want to fuck everything like sir please don't come out here on this bike little boy shit I gotta get away from him I don't want to do nothing fuck it all don't do that don't fall that's a test that's the game testing you. That's the game testing you. And the, the devil going to get in your mind like, nope, can't do that because this is going on. You're not going to be able to do what God called you to do. Ha ha. Because you got this barrier and this barrier and this problem. Now what? That's exactly what he's doing. And you cannot let that get to you. You cannot fold in anything that you're doing. I don't care what it is. We all doing different things. I don't know you personally. I don't know what it is that you're trying to do. I don't know what you want for yourself. I don't know where you at right now. But what I'm telling you is don't fold. Don't give in. Do not give up. That's the part that's important. Whatever it is. I don't care whatever it is. Don't give up. Don't, don't let... These issues, these barriers, things that come into play, whether it's financial, whether it's um, loss of motivation, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, whatever. Don't let that bring you down. Don't let that take you down. Because what you don't want to happen is to get into a what if moment. You don't want to get into a what if moment. What if I would have did this? I should have. What if or I should have. I should have did this. What if I would have did this? Man, I should have went back then and I should have actually did. You don't want to do that. 
You don't want to be the what if I should have person. You need to be the I did and I can person. I did, I can, I will. Hold on. Come on, the girl, listen, the words is becoming up on me. I did, I can, and I will. Huh? You, you hear me? I did, for whatever you already accomplished, whatever your success is, I can, because I can do whatever I set my mind to, and I will watch me work. Fold for what? That's, that's what we doing around here. I don't know about y'all, but uh, if you around me, my crew, my energy, you're watching this channel, baby, who folding? The only thing we folding is some clothes. <laughs> we, no, don't, mm, mm Only thing we folding around here is laundry shit, and that's, you know, that's, that might take a little minute, but it get done. <laughs> y'all know y'all be leaving y'all clothes in the basket or the dryer, don't be lying. Um... But yeah, I had to give y'all that. Like, it was heavy on my heart. And again, I've been out at night, so I ain't been able to record nothing. So I was like, damn, let me go ahead and get out while it's still daylight outside so I can do a car motivation. But I had a lot of time to reflect on things. And I'm still easing back into it because it's hard to come back from sleeping three weeks and just go straight into what you was doing. It don't work like that. You got to ease into it. Like, you... You got to recover mentally. You got to make sure you're fully physically recovered. Like, it's a whole lot that go into it. So, I'm still kind of easing my way back in there. Still trying to, you know, focus on what I got going on, what my goals are for the year, all of that. Um, and y'all know me, that ain't going to take long. Because, baby, that fire that the Lord put on me, he must have traded my my sense with ambition because i ain't got no sense but i got all the ambition in the world so i had to hit y'all with that little gym if y'all see me again in the same i don't even know why i be explaining myself like that like i'm coming again with another one fuck it we already out so i'll see y'all another video because i got another word for y'all okay i am pulling up chick-fil-a bye